hi welcome to another tutorial with me my name is Ivan in this tutorial I'm just going to be going through the gradient tool um, which you can just find on the toolbar over here um, I'm just going to explain the different ways you've got your your linear gradient your radial gradient um, different types of gradient really I'm going to show you how to use them how to change the colors and as well at the end of the tutorial I'm going to show you how they can be used in layer masks okay so I'm just gonna hide this layer and create a new one just so we can work on it so I've selected the the, the gradient tool just in the toolbar over here you just want to go up to the the menu up here and you can see you've got different options you've got the type of gradient you've got uh, well the, yeah pretty much the type of gradient you've got the different um, ways you can gradient things or grade things should I say you've got your linear gradient, your radial gradient, angle gradient, reflected gradient and diamond gradient. Mode, I just use normal but those are kind of like the blending modes for layers. Opacity and if you want to reverse it just look over there you can swap the colors front and back. Do that, um, I don't really do anything with that and transparency. Okay so <clears throat> First thing, let's start with a linear gradient. Um, we can just choose over here. Goes from white to black or black to white. Um, I use a solid normally and smoothness I use 100%. So over here you can see you've got your different color tabs, um, the white one and the black one over here. To change a color, you can click on it and change it over here. You can either click the arrow to foreground background or your specific color and your foreground back, uh, color, background colors over here or you can actually click on the color itself and it brings up the color picker okay and the same goes with the black one um, you can either click foreground background or you can click the color itself to bring up the different color pickers location um, that's with these as well you can move it back or forwards um, it depends how much color how much grading you want of different colors in your actual image and what you're using it for okay so that's a stops just over here you can adjust let's say how much black you want at the end or how much white you want at the beginning and if you wanted to change put multiple colors in you can just click and it adds different stops in so let's just do this and change it let's put a green one in and let's change that one and put a blue one in Okay, so you can see white to green to blue to black. Okay, and let's just move it along. And if you make a mistake and you only want three colors, just click it and pull it off. Just like that. Okay, so it's easy as that. Now we know how to create, a change the colors of the gradients. Let me just show you how to use them. Hit OK once you've got your, your colors selected and whichever gradient you want to do and it's a simple case of clicking and dragging and that's what I've done here and depends what angle you drag it at is depending what angle the um, the gradient goes at okay so that's the linear and that's the radial and which one's this one sorry this one is the shape one I believe the angle gradient Okay, the reflective gradient over there and the diamond gradient just over there. Okay, so that's those. Uh, pretty easy to do. And now what I want to go through with you is um, doing it in specific areas. So let's just create a new layer. I'm just going to hide that. So if you only want a gradient in a specific area, you can either use your lasso tool or the shape that you want and just create how you want it to go. So let's just put something random over here, just like that. Okay, so I've still got my, my gradient tool selected over here and let's just change the colors quickly just to make it look a bit more colorful than it has been. Okay, so I'm going from green to blue. Another, another thing to explain, when you do have two colors, this part in the middle over here, you can see it blends the two colors together, so it's not a, just a, a straight swap of colors. Okay, so once you've got your shape, you can draw your gradient or insert your gradient however you want, and it creates a 
it in the shape you've created so i'm going to control d to deselect that um yep so you can do it with a rectangle marquee tool as well uh go back to the gradient and let's just choose black to white again and click and drag and that creates that for you there okay control d to deselect okay and now one last thing i want to show you with a gradient tool um, which is pretty cool to create nice effects i've created a layer mask on my 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 text layer um, i've got a black to white to show and hide things and if you want to gradually fade in text or gradually remove text you can just use a layer mask to do that as well and this can be worked done with anything not only text um, and you can do it in different ways as well with the different types of gradients so let's do the radial gradient so it makes it look quite cool reflective if I'd like to say if you had something below this layer let's just show you I'm going to create a new layer under that one and if you need to know or want to know I press Control and new layer and it creates it below it I'm just going to change my foreground color to let's make it a dark orange and alt delete to fill it with my foreground color and there we go so you can see it fades into the color this probably wasn't the best color so it doesn't look that great but you get the gist of it okay and you can do let's just do it with the um that one as well see that looks quite awesome doesn't it Okay, so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I'd like to hear your feedback in the comments down below. And please get sharing. Um, I want to spread the word a bit more. All these tutorials I'm coming out with. I'm trying to get three out a week. Sometimes I can't reach that. But I seem to be doing quite well lately. I've got 40 odd videos on my channel. So get sharing, get liking and get learning. Thank you very much.